what's up everybody i figured i would uh give you a quick tour of uh house calls uh my studio where i actually do my mixes and where i have my gear set up and where i also do parties I do a lot of parties down here been doing parties here probably the whole time i've owned the house which has been about 10 years uh honestly i can say i'm probably the longest running house party in trenton which is cool you know what i'm saying um I'm just going to give you a quick tour of the studio. Um, the first clips will show you where the dance floor is. You can see some of the video footage too. Uh, I'll show you the transition through my gear uh, where I've started. I've been DJing for over 25 years. I started uh, with my love of house music, bought up uh, and raised in North New Jersey. Going to the Zanza Bar Club Sensations, going to New York to the Shelter, um, that type of vibe, listening to Tony, uh, Humphreys, Louis Vega, DJ Camacho, Hippie Torales, um, listening to WBLS on the radio, growing up, listening to uh, cool DJ Red Alert, Chuck Chill Out, and things of that nature, which is uh, a list of music that I've listened to over the years that I'm proud of. And I'm sure that there are thousands of people out there who've also fallen into that genre of uh, soulful house music. Uh, and like I said, over 25 years I've been playing since high school. I'm 43 now and uh, still love this music. It does something to me. And in my opinion, uh, being a good DJ, you really, really need to be able to feel what you're playing as well as being uh, able to you know, gauge your crowd and see how your crowd responds to the music that you love. If you love it, then more than likely they'll love it because you'll be playing from your heart. When you DJ, it really is about putting together music uh, that will move a crowd, that will make people respond, putting together a show. Um, all types of things fall into uh, making a good DJ. Um, I, I've changed my sound, and people have said I've changed my sound over the years, where it's developed or it's it's progressed. Uh, and I think that's mostly because house music has changed. House music has progressed. Um, there are all different types of styles of, of soulful house music, and you know, as you move along, you get into trends of music, which is normal. But you never forget the classics. You always go back and you always play those safeties, those songs that people remember because they connect us to a time and place that um, we don't forget. We don't want to forget. We remember those as good times, as a good party. Hey, I was there. You know, when I tell people, yeah, I grew up in the Zanzibar. I grew up listening to Tony Humphreys and seeing people like Grace Jones on stage and Shaka Khan on stage and Patti LaBelle. Um, so, you know, it's embedded in me, it's ingrained in me, and I'm proud to be a soulful house player, someone who can create a scene of art with my music, as well as, you know, from my soul, which is, I feel it, I love it, and I'm going to continue to do it probably for the rest of my life. So, enjoy the tour of, uh, you know, the little studio that I have at home, which I've had, like I said, for over 10 years. And uh, given a lot of parties here, I've had some famous people here play and, you know, New Year's Eve parties are insane. And just just last uh, Saturday, I had a party here until like four in the morning. And like, again, the whole time I've had parties here, I've never had a fight, an argument. You know, these people come in, I don't even have to clean up. I got recycling cans in the yard when they're outside smoking, talking and joking. They they literally clean up on their way out and everybody hugs and kisses and you know, I'll see you at the next party. That's what a party's supposed to be. Oh, my God. 